Hey guys, welcome back. The project is moving along fairly good. Um, we got the fuel line routed down. The harness is done. Um, I still don't have a throttle cable mounted up yet, but I want to get this intake manifold installed. If I have to drill any holes back there, hopefully I can do it from the inside of the vehicle. But I want to prepare this intake manifold for installation. Um, I don't know if the fuel rails would be better to be installed now or once I get it on the vehicle. I think if I install them on the vehicle, it'll be a little more difficult to get to the mounting brackets for the fuel rails, but at the same time, it'll be harder to get to the intake hold down bolts if the fuel rails are in place. So I might try mounting them loosely on here, get it in there and then snug everything up once I get it where I need to. Um, a few things I need, or you might need to do if, uh, if you're doing this yourself is preparing all your ports underneath because you won't be able to access these once the intakes are installed. So I have one nipple in the bottom. I'm gonna run this to the PCV valve. I welded a couple of bungs in the back. One is threaded, one is smooth. One's for the map sensor. And then this one here will go to the brake booster. Now I compared this one to the Phytech um, intake manifold. I thought they were identical except for the branding on the top. On the internet pictures of the Phytech one, they show the map sensor installed in the back and they're running the newer map sensor um, on the, off the Gen 4 motor that bolts into place. And maybe some of the cars had that model as well, but they don't have the push-in map sensor like the early model trucks had. So they've already solved the problem. I wish this intake would have had some sort of mounting back here for that newer style map sensor because then I could have mounted that up and then just got a pigtail to uh, convert the wiring harness. But I'm all good there. What I did with the extra holes is I put eighth inch pipe plugs in. Um, I put the slotted ones. I couldn't find any aluminum ones in town that had like a hex in there so I could recess them because I don't want those sticking up and catching on anything. This one here is just a quarter inch 90 um, with the uh, 3 8 output. That'll go over to the PCV valve and I'm actually gonna run that one out one of the runners because that will take me right to the PCV port. The throttle body, I can mount that up after I get this installed, so I'm not worried about that. There is an O-ring here, and then a plate goes on for the throttle body bracket, or the throttle cable bracket, and then the throttle body sandwiches against that with a gasket. So there's a few pieces there, but I think we should be able to get that no problem once we're uh, installed. So I'm gonna loosely assemble the fuel rails I already have the injectors out of my old fuel rails, out of that old intake. Um, I'm gonna get these in the, into the intake and then I'll get the rails on. Um, you can use a little bit of grease on the O-rings or some oil to make it assemble easier. That way you don't roll a O-ring uh, or tear one and cause a fuel leak. Um, we'll get those installed. There is a braided line that goes between the two rails. We can get that on afterwards as well. Fuel rail has some recessed holes I'm kind of guessing that those go towards the outside so we can put bolts in there and the bolts won't stick out. But then again, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't read the instructions once again. But you guys probably aren't going to read the instructions either. So we'll just wing it, see what happens. Now there are these brackets that kind of go down in there. I'll put a bolt through the one side of the fuel rail, a nut on the back side, and it looks like an additional bolt straight down into the intake manifold. There are three of these per fuel rail. So I'll get this stuff put together and then we'll start putting this on the vehicle. So there are different types of fittings that this comes with. It comes with four fittings that screw into the fuel rails that have a number six AN fitting on the end. And then there is one plug that comes in the kit as well. Once you have your fitting snugged up, you can put this line on. Depending on your application, this may be going in the back of the fuel rail. Um, if you're running a pressure regulator, you may be running a AM fitting in all four corners. I put a plug in the right rear. Is that where I want that? I gave myself enough slack to run the fuel line to either side, but I think I want it on the right side, so I'm gonna swap the plug from the right to the left. And then I think I'll leave everything loose until I get it installed in the vehicle, and then I'll snug up the rails 
because if I have to take the rails back off for any reason, I don't want to waste the time to tighten all this stuff down. So let's go ahead and throw it on there, get the wires run through for the injectors, get that stuff plugged in, see how it all looks. Uh, but first I got to take the tape off of the, uh, the cylinder heads because if I mount this on there, I want it to be the, <laughs> the last time I have to take it off, hopefully. Um, we do have to put gaskets in the bottom or the O-rings. Um, it doesn't take a standard gasket anymore. So I'm not sure where these O-rings are from, if they're from another production vehicle. Hopefully it's something that's easy to get if you ever tear one or rebuild the motor and want to replace them. Make sure there's nothing in here that can fall into the heads once I pull the tape off. No dirt, debris, or rocks. And hopefully the tape comes off easy. It's been on there for quite a while now. One down, one to go. This isn't going to work. Let me check this out. Well, that kind of sucks. This intake manifold, I can't slide it far enough forward. Now, if I would have downloaded the instructions and read them, maybe there was something in there telling me to put this rail or the crossover pipe on the back. But I didn't do that. They didn't come in the box, so I would have had to download them. Um, I'm going to have to swap this AN fitting for that plug put this crossover pipe on the back and hook my fuel line up to this other fuel rail at the front. The problem is my line's not long enough. I'm going to have to rebuild this line, make it longer. I'm going to have to choose if I want to run this line, you know, along the side of the fuel rail, hook it up over here. If I want to run it along the frame rail, bring it up and hook it up to here, or I can run it underneath the intake with my wiring and I'll have to get a 90, but I can hook it up over here. I already have a 180 degree bend pipe or a AN fitting that I could just run right along the side and tie in. If you guys want to watch more of this madness of me screwing stuff up, redoing stuff over and over again, then subscribe and click the bell. If you have questions or comments, put those down below. I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.